This boring one-page website? Well, it's making over $4,000 every single month. And I'm about to show you exactly how to copy it using just one AI tool. So look at these numbers, 400,000 visitors per month with a $10 RPM through Google AdSense. Now that's passive income while they're sleeping. And here's what's even crazier. I have zero coding knowledge, zero web development experience, but I'm gonna go ahead and rebuild this entire app and the next 15 minutes of this video using AI to do all the technical work for me. We're talking about a simple age calculator that people apparently can't stop using. While everyone's chasing complex business models, this person built something so basic it almost seems stupid until you see the bank account. Now, I'm gonna show you the exact AI tool that will write all the code for us, that will build all the features, connect Google AdSense for that passive ad revenue, and even set up Stripe for premium features. So that by the end of this video, you're gonna have a complete money-making website without writing a single line of code yourself. Now, this is the proof that the most boring ideas, those can be the most profitable ones. So let's go ahead and build it. But first, important disclaimer, building websites and making money online, that ain't easy, despite what other YouTubers are saying. So when I show you how to build a website, I'm demonstrating the technical process and the potential. I am not guaranteeing your results. These AI tools are legit and the techniques do work, but success depends on your execution, timing, and honestly, some good luck. Most websites don't make money right away and many don't make money at all. So I'm not promising that you're gonna get rich or that you quit your job. I'm just showing you what's possible with these tools and what you do with that knowledge, that's entirely up to you. Alrighty then, with those expectations set, let's go ahead and continue to build a website. A tool this simple pulling in thousands a month might sound crazy until you realize why it works. Because people love seeing their exact age broken down to the minute and this app delivers it instantly in a clean, no frills layout that just works. So let's tell Lovable what we need. Build a clean and simple website. The website is an online age calculator tool that helps users determine their age by inputting a date of birth and a specific date to calculate age up to the present using an easy to use input form with clear results display. The app must include exact age calculations in years, months, days, hours, and minutes. The design should focus on clarity, simplicity, and fast usability across all devices. And with that, Lovable is starting to build the app. So let's go ahead and check out the first version of the Age Calculator app now. And right away, we get a clean title here at the top, Age Calculator, with a short description that sets the tone. Calculate your exact age with precision down to minutes. Now, just below that is the main form section labeled Enter Your Details, and it has two simple inputs one for your date of birth and another to choose the date you want to calculate age until, which defaults to today, but we can change it if needed. After entering both fields and hitting calculate age, the results show up instantly. You're gonna get your age broken down into years, into months, days, hours, and minutes, along with the total time lived displayed separately in full detail. Everything runs smoothly and displays in a well-organized layout with soft purple accents to highlight key numbers and keep the experience clean, modern, and easy to follow. But let's be real, age calculators usually just throw out a number and then call it a day. But time isn't static, it's always moving, and so should the experience. That's why we're giving this app a few upgrades to make it feel more responsive, accurate, and a bit more personal. We're gonna guide Lovable with this prompt. Automatically detect the user's time zone and calculate age accordingly. So, all right, let's drop in a test birth date. And right away, the app grabs the system time zone, like here, it's Asia slash Taipei, and includes that in the results. So that way, users always know exactly what time context their age is being calculated in. It's especially handy for people comparing time zones or calculating age across countries while traveling. Next up, we're going to take things up a notch with something a bit more dynamic like this. 
show the user's current age that updates live in real time with the display changing every second to reflect ongoing time. So we're gonna go ahead and enter a birth date and this time something pretty cool happens. The moment it's submitted, the app starts tracking the user's age down to the second, literally. The numbers just keep on ticking. Years, months, days, hours, minutes, and seconds all updating in real time. It's pretty cool. It makes the app feel more alive. And honestly, watching your age count up like that is oddly mesmerizing. However, everyone views time a little differently. Some prefer a classic breakdown in years, while others, like myself, we like to see the total days or even minutes they've been alive. So to make the app more flexible for different preferences, it's time to add display options that go beyond just one format. So for that, let's drop this instruction into Lovable. Add display options that show age in different formats, traditional age in years, months, and days, total days lived, and total hours and minutes lived. Lovable confirms that all these different age formats are currently visible on the calculator. So now let's take a look at how it's displayed and we'll improve how it's organized for clarity. If we enter another birth date, you're going to notice the layout now cleanly separates and labels each format. You've got total days lived, total time lived, and even total seconds, all updating smoothly and laid out in a way that's easy to scan. So let's try it out in full screen mode. Opening it in a new browser tab, we're going to enter a birth date again, and right away, the desktop layout kicks in with all the formats clearly arranged in a tidy, spacious layout. It looks clear, it's intentional, and super user-friendly. Now, sometimes it's just fun to compare your age with someone famous or see who shares your birthday. So to make the tool more engaging in that way, we're adding a feature that mixes utility with a little bit of entertainment. So we're gonna feed this into Lovable to continue. Add a famous people birthdays section that includes a database of celebrity or notable person birthdays. This should include profile pages for each person, age calculations for famous individuals and categories such as internet celebrity, actor, dancer, sports person, athlete, etc. Each profile should show a photo or profile images and some basic information. And as you can see here now, there's a button on the main page labeled Explore Famous People Birthdays. Tapping into it brings up a neatly organized list of notable individuals, all grouped into categories like internet celebrity, actor, dancer, sports person, musician, director, writer, and entrepreneur. Each profile here has a card that shows a photo, a name, a birth date, the current age, and a short description. Now, what's great is that their age is calculated using the same real-time engine from the main tool, so it stays accurate down to the minute. And when you do click View Full Profile, you're going to be taken to a detailed page with an exact age breakdown, birthday info, and total time lived. It's pretty cool. And it's a surprisingly fun and informative addition that gives the app a lot more personality. So now let's talk about revenue, because after getting the core features up and running, it's really only normal to start thinking about how the site can generate income. And one of the easiest and most proven ways to do that is through Google AdSense. And we're going to start that process by giving Lovable this prompt. Add Google AdSense to the website to show ads or ad banners placing them in non-intrusive locations like sidebars or between tool sections. The ad placeholders should look exactly like real Google AdSense ads with Google standard ad styling and format. And after a quick build, the placeholders here are in place, but they only appear in one intersection. Mm, I don't want that. We want these ads to also show on the home page for better visibility and balance. So to fix that and align everything with our visual reference, we're going to prompt Lovable again with this. Add ad placeholders that are visible on both the main homepage and intersections of the site. The ad layout should follow the style and format similar to the provided sample image. Okay, so with that, the ad design is now aligned with the reference styling. The banners here appear more consistently across the layout, 
but we still need to enable them on the home page. So one more quick prompt to Lovable. I like the Google AdSense ad placeholders design and layout, but I also want to show the Google AdSense ad placeholders on the home page. We're going to be a little bit more specific here. So we're going to edit and apply the change directly. And now the home page updates and the ads appear just like they do in the intersections, strategically placed. They're clearly visible, but not too disruptive. And now it's time to connect the real thing. And to do that, we're going to head over to Google AdSense. We're going to go ahead and sign in and then register our site. After entering the site name and clicking save, we're going to grab the AdSense code snippet and then paste it into our lovable project. And from there, we'll tick the verification box and hit submit under request review. It's at this point that we're just going to be waiting a little while. It's a matter of waiting. Approval usually takes anywhere from a few days to a couple of weeks. Until then, we're using realistic ad placeholders. But once approval does come through, the site will start displaying real ads. And that means passive income is officially live. All right, so since our app already delivers real value with its detailed age breakdowns and interactive tools, now is a perfect time to roll out a premium option. And I wanna set up a clean one-time payment using Stripe that unlocks a few exclusive features without interrupting the experience for free users. So we're gonna enter the Stripe integration prompt. Add Stripe to manage premium features, include a pricing section and Stripe checkout page for handling payments. And as you can see right away, Lovable pulls up a checklist of everything we need to get started on that. First, we need to select the payment type, then head to the top right corner here and connect Lovable to Superbase using the green Superbase button. Now, after choosing Connect Superbase, we're going to also click Add More Organizations. And after confirming the connection, let's hit Continue. Now, we're going to create a brand new Superbase project with just a name and a password. And after that, we're going to go back to Lovable and reconnect. And this time, everything syncs successfully. And from there, we will drop in this prompt. Add Stripe integration to manage premium features include a pricing section and Stripe checkout page for handling payments. For payment type, I want one-off payments. And doing that triggers a few setup requirements from Lovable, asking for Stripe credentials and pricing details. So we're going to prompt it with this. I have a Stripe account. Pricing is $9 for one-time payment. The premium only features are no ads, ad-free experience, and age comparisons. Yes, I have a Stripe secret key and I want to enter it. Now it's time to grab that key. So let's jump back into the Stripe dashboard, go here into the developer section and then find the API keys. And once we have the secret key copied, we're going to paste it straight into Lovable, submit the input and click apply changes. Now with everything in place, the app instantly updates to include a premium section and a clean pricing display. Now, before testing anything, we need to hit publish to make the changes live. And once that's done, we're going to test the flow by clicking upgrade to premium. The app redirects us to Stripe's checkout page. And here we're going to enter payment details. And just like that, the payment goes through successfully. And right after payment, the app updates automatically. As you can see, a premium badge appears here, ads disappear, and exclusive features like age comparison are unlocked and ready to use. Everything works just as we planned it, and the Stripe integration is now fully active. The app's live and everything has clicked into place. Our users land on a clean layout, they drop in their birth date and a target date, and they instantly get a full age breakdown. Years, months, days, hours, minutes, they're all updating in real time. The time zone sets itself automatically and everything scales smoothly on desktop. Now, what makes it stand out, you might ask? Well, it doesn't just calculate, it adds context. A dedicated section lets users explore famous birthdays, complete with age, bio, and time lived. Every detail here is clear, fast, and frictionless, exactly what a good utility tool should feel like. So there it is, a fully functional, ad-ready, premium-enabled age calculator app 
all built from scratch without touching a single line of code. And we took what looked like a dead simple idea and we turned it into a complete monetizable product. So don't overthink it. Sometimes the simplest tools are the ones people actually need. Thanks for watching and spending your time with me today. I'll catch you at the next one.